Hi everybody, it's Chris here. And Georgia. And we are here doing our weekly Instagram live. I um, hope everybody is doing very well. Um, it's been a bit of a slower news week than usual, but we have had some um, pretty interesting stories come through. Um, so I guess the first one is... Well, the, yeah, the kind of biggest story mm. um, for us so far this week is that news that the World Health Organization is going to start recognizing burnout um, as a kind of official chronic um, disease mm -hmm. from 2020. Um, and it's something that I think a lot of people have been talking about a lot more recently because it's obviously um, a kind of result of a lot of mental health conditions when everything kind of compounds together. Um, mm -hmm. And especially if you're someone with a really busy work, social life. Um, can lead to burnout if you're not looking after yourself and you're overworked and you've kind of got other stuff going on mentally um and especially for one for therapists and people working in the industry um it's one that can really affect therapists um and also then their treatment delivery and their client care and things like that so um that's maybe one to have a little research on um if you are a salon spa owner or a therapist and maybe just kind of become aware of the symptoms and the signs and that someone may be suffering from burnout. There's a lot of stuff um, on our site to do with mental health um, and looking after yourself, your staff, um, and also kind of things to talk to your clients about um, more, I guess, also holistic treatments that um, a lot of people are starting to offer now, complementary therapies, we're starting to do more coverage and things like that because yeah, it's definitely an area that um, is becoming more important to people, I think, for their own um, self-care. Yeah, I mean, obviously wellness, we've got World Wellness Day coming up as well. So it's sort of all, there is a lot more conversation around it, I feel like now. It yeah. just, it's a constantly growing thing. And I think it is really good that they are recognising yeah. that burnout is an actual condition because yeah, for sure. it can be a really it can be really difficult to sort of understand that that's what you are going through in a way I guess and that I think will will really help yeah um so global wellness day is coming up on the 8th mm. of June next week yes um and there's lots of information on their website if you do want to get involved um, as a beauty business and um I think the kind of the only the only real criteria is that you need to offer some sort of free um, initiative or activity to clients or people in your local area. Um, but there's all sorts of different things you can do wellness-wise, um, and it's not too late to get involved. There's marketing material and stuff on that website. So mm -hmm. have a look and get involved and share the wellness message. Yes. And we've got a video which talks about therapist burnout on our YouTube channel. And we've also got a lot more videos that have gone up recently. We have a really good video with Armand Beasley, who, where he talks about um, ways that you can make it as a successful makeup artist. So there's some really good tips there. And then we've also got, that went up yesterday, a video all uh, about some of our favorite and some of the big waxers uh, talking about sort of embarrassing moments, I guess, and um, little things that can go wrong when you're waxing, but also how to deal with them. So it's quite funny, but also very informative and it's really, really good. So do make sure you check that out. There are links to all the videos in on our Instagram or on YouTube, wherever you look, uh, there is, they, they are there and on the website. Um, um, my other contribution to this week's video <laughs> um, is that I went to quite an exciting launch yesterday. Um, it was an OPI launch, but they have collaborated with Converse, um, the mm. footwear brand. Um, on a collection of shoes and also nail polishes. Um, so I've got one of the colours on now. This is called Very the uh, nice. Pink Passes. Or oh, they're all, um, I think there's six, and they're all very bright um, with kind of like music-y themed names. Um, yeah, and mm. kind of festivity vibes. Um, and so they gifted us very kindly with a pair of shoes from the collection. And um, we'll show you all the polished colours. We're going to do another beauty haul video that mm. we did a few weeks ago. I think next week. So we'll show you all the polished colours then. Um, but this is a pair from the collection um, mm. of low tops. So these are like the classic Converse, um, canvas Converse with a shiny toe cap. Um, and then the OPI stitching here. Um, 
and, and a little yeah. message on the side here. So yeah, these are the purple ones and all the shoes have a corresponding polish colour, um, which is really cool. So that was a fun launch. Um, and yeah, we'll show you, oh, these are exclusive to shoe, um, the shoe shop shoe, but we'll show you all the colours. Um, she yeah, shop shoes. She Try saying that shoes. so many times quickly. <laughs> but um, that was a really fun launch and a really nice gift from OPI. Um, and I have my nails painted by the lovely Jenny Draper. Um, so it was lovely to have a chat with her and yeah, it was a really nice morning for me. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Um, other things that we've got coming up, so yeah, we will be doing our beauty haul video. I think that's in two weeks time. I don't know, I two think it's next week. Oh, maybe next week. We will, tw uh, we will put up on our Twitter, on our Instagram, on Facebook, when exactly it is, so you can tune in then. Um, and of course, thank you everyone to who is watching now or watching back. Um, we love hearing your comments, so do send us what you're liking, what you want to see from us, any other ideas mm -hmm. you've got for lives, people you might want to see us talk to. I think we are also planning to do a couple more of the interview ones that we've been doing. So we had uh, Monique Hart came in, which was really cool. Um, and then, yeah, otherwise we've also got uh, dates for your diary, uh, aesthetic medicine north, if you have got an aesthetic practitioner or anything like that in your uh, salon or spa, we've got that at the end of June, 29th and 30th of June in Manchester. And also we have our tickets on our live for PB Island and for PB North in Manchester. So all the information for that is up on the PB website. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. We are, it's a bit of a shorter line, yeah. I guess, today. Is there anything else that you've got mm. burning Oh issues? yeah, one thing. If anyone watching does micro-needling or like derma rollering um, in salon and you have been told by your council, like the borough that you're in, that you can no longer apply topical anaesthetic to clients before the treatment, please can you leave a comment and let me know because I'm writing a feature about it. So yes, yeah, let us know. would want to share... Um, your experience are really handy. Thank you. Yeah, so do let us know. And yes, we will be back next week, as always, at 3, 3.30ish on a Thursday. So make sure you tune in live or watch it later. But yes, thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. Bye. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.